all aboard the crazy train. Once again, Fox News and its team of reputable speakers put their respective foots in their mouths again. If anyone watches Fox News, and I really hope you don't, because to me, calling them a valid news source is like saying Freddy Krueger is great with kids. Honestly. The thing is, they've been around for a while and they use fear and deceit to con a rather naive nation. They're the ones who want to repeal Obamacare. They're the ones that say that homosexual marriage is going to end the world as we know it. Sounds a lot like the Republican Party, doesn't it? Well, it should, considering we know which side Fox News is really on. Anyway, I came across this article today while surfing the web and noticed this tag saying, No love for union maids. So, being the curious bear that I am, I decided to give it a look. And as I was reading, I just, I kept shaking my head. Apparently this trio of conservatives had their panties in a knot because some contract negotiation between the New York Hotel and Motel Trades Council and the Hotel Association of New York. They were negotiating a seven-year contract that would double employees' salaries. Oh, God forbid that uh, hardworking people of this country actually get decent pay for putting up with pontificating idiots like these. It's a small, small price to pay, in my opinion. This trio say this is part of what's ruining our great nation. Yeah, ruining their words. Apparently, fair middle class wages, free health care, free dental, and free vision plans for our hotel friends is going to just totally rock the foundation of our country. They say it's going to be a nightmare for us taxpayers because we're going to have to foot the bill. Which, of course, is totally, you know, it's, it's total crap. They just use this as an excuse to bitch and bitch and bitch and bitch they do loudly. They say this like we're the ones who, who will have to pay for it, which again, not true. It's the hotel and the unions, not us. Fox News, once again, showing you you don't need facts to make up a story. This is a direct quote from LAProgressive.com, and this is how they put it. When housekeepers or anyone has to depend on another person for a livelihood, assert anything, whether in court or across a negotiating table, it is a lie from dusk to dawn. But when the wealthy, whether they are defending their business practices or running for president, say they have only altruistic intentions. Fox News, Fox News pleads for credulity. You see, I think we know where their loyalties lie. It certainly isn't with American, with the American public. I'm going to leave a link to their website so you can read the entire article. It's, it's, oh my God, it's pretty amazing what they think. Anyway, that's it for me. Comment, like, subscribe if you wanna, right down below. And I'm out of here. Till next time. Peace.